Should have been re Oh, I know why. It records in increments of 20 minutes. Oh, um, so, time. Hmm? Time. No, it's fine. Because all you need to do if you see it, there is a red button here. Yeah. And just press that. Just press that. Okay. What we want to know is basically, in order to be able to do the count, is what is the volume of this box, or what is the volume of this sphere. Well, volume of that sphere is 4 pi over 3 times the radius, right? The sum of all the right? Yeah, that's an, that basically tells you the number of possible combinations of integers, right? Which will give you the particular value of k and hence the particular wavelengths. So what you are interested in is in how many ways you can construct the particular wavelengths out of these integers. So it's given by basically the number of integers inside of that volume. Now, for the purposes of our count, we are actually not interested in the whole thing, but in a volume of a shell, which is radius n, and the other one, which is radius n plus delta. So we are interested in a volume of this shell. You'll see why. And the number of integers in this volume between these two radii is simply 4 pi n squared times delta n. Why 4 pi n squared delta n? 4 pi n squared is the surface area of this sphere, right? And then you multiply it by the thickness. And all the integers that we need are actually in the first octant. We don't need other combinations. So that's why we divide it by 8. And what we will do is, is now it will be to express this now in terms of k vector, which is simple. So, if I want to express the number of nodes in there, then I have 4 pi over 8. Instead of n squared, I will have 2 L squared, k squared over 2 pi. And the delta n is 2 L over 2 pi delta k. And if you sort this out, we see that the number of nodes is 2 squared times 2, that's 8, right? Which cancels this 8. We have L squared and L, which is the volume of our box. That's L cubed. L squared and L. 
Then we have, uh, I forgot, 2 pi squared. Then we have 2 pi the cubed and k squared. Delta k. I don't know if any one of you has taken um, course in any kind of a geometry. High school. Did you would recognize something because these are reciprocal or duals of each other. But don't worry about it. And what we can do now is use the dispersion relation to actually express this result in terms of the frequency. I still haven't multiplied this result by a factor of 2 to account for the number of spins. So this number of nodes in that shell is then 4 pi over 2 pi cubed times v. So that's a volume of the black body. And instead of k, I can write frequency divided by the speed of the light. <coughs> and instead of delta k, it would be delta omega over c. formula delta n is 4 pi over 2 pi volume of the box omega squared delta omega divided by c so that's a number Now the reason why we're looking at this number is because what is our goal is, is to determine, I probably should have said at the beginning, so the goal is to calculate If I write U as the energy in the box, and this will be energy per unit volume, this is for a single wave.
then to get the total, I need to multiply that by the number of different nodes that I have, the number of different weights. And I have to add the factor of 2, this accounts for polarization. So this is basically energy density. You can put delta n if you want to try this out some really bad. And this final thing, this energy here, is not is the energy. This function that was known experimentally well, that was measured, actually it was energy per unit volume per unit time emitted. So it's basically the power, it's the intensity, but you know, it's easy to switch from one to the other. So. Um, and it is customary to express this in terms of frequency nu. So we replace now omega by 2 pi nu. So if I do that, this delta n will become 4 pi. Now, there will be 2 pi's coming from this omega, right? There are square of 2 pi and another, which will cancel the denominators. The denominator completely disappears. So we have mu squared delta nu over C. C happens to be the speed of the line. So the total formula for this energy density delta u is then 2. Now I have to divide it by volume, right? I will put energy, but I have to divide it by volume, so this will cancel this factor of volume completely. So the 2 comes from polarization, and so I have 4 pi over c cubed. factor, which is E. Now, I want to stress before we finish for today, and this is sometimes lost, the count that we've done so far is a classical count of the number of harmonics that you have for the wave in the box. You have the basic one, which where the wavelength is just twice the size of the box, and then you have fractions of that, right? Now, this is not where quantum mechanics comes in. Sometimes it is falsely stated, even in some serious books, that this is where the quantum mechanics come in, or that it's analogous to these harmonics. That's not what it is. Quantum mechanics actually comes in a count in the calculation of this average. And it is in calculation of this average that 
Max Planck proposed quantum hypothesis. Using classical physics, it's very easy. Oscillators, uh, osc beta harmonic oscillators, right? So there is kinetic energy and potential energy, and in a thermal equilibrium, there is an equal amount of energy in kinetic and a potential piece. For degree of freedom, you have one half k Boltzmann t energy per degree of freedom. You have this much for the kinetic part, this much for the potential energy part, and so this average will give you k t. And that's a wrong result because how the infinity comes in, if you sum up over all frequencies, that's infinite. So when this energy is calculated over all frequencies, you will get infinity. Planck had to make an assumption of how this is calculated. This is where quantum mechanics comes in. And in Planck's calculation, this E average is a function of frequency. And it's a special function that in a case when the system is hot, the result is proportional to the classical result. And it was dependence of this E average on the frequency that actually softened this infinity in other words, we moved it completely. So what we'll do is we'll do that next time I'll post notes, which hope to be more clear. But this is not, this is available in all textbooks. We'll be And next time. This one stops it? Huh? This one? Yeah.